times. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> Shane forced me back to work out of lockdown. Prick. That's basically what he says. Is it heavy? Heavy as fuck. Is it? We're in. <laughs> Onto the shop. Once upon a time there was a prince and was a prince. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm doing is here, just a pity, look here come the world. All behind the tins and cash cans and living spiteful. See that prince of black men, they're pretty cheap and white. But there's only one problem, only one problem. Racism be like a pet cause everybody got one. It's toxic, it's toxic to pull you over flashlight. Do you know, do you know right? And this video is very casual, so you're not going to stand in front and go, Hey, my name is Tom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Basically, there's been no updates on the car because I've been isolating, mm -hmm. eating too much, mm -hmm. drinking too much, mm -hmm. spending money I haven't got on eBay. <laughs> and Shane, I could tell, was having kittens. Uh, so I've had to come back to work. So oh, that's... don't force, don't fucking... Yeah, yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Do you know what he just done there? <laughs> he just literally turned around and said, Oh, Shane forced me back to work out of lockdown. Prick. That's basically what he <laughs> said. <laughs> no, 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 let me explain, right? I've known Tom for a very long time. Now, Tom is my preferred guy to do paint every fucking time. But the motherfucker can't get hold of him. Most of the time when I go, hey Tom, do you want to paint my car? He's like fucking jumping all over. He's like, I want to do this. Bro, I'm going to fucking do this. You're mistaken reliability for exclusivity. I, I, I did. That's, I did. That's, that's what you said to me the other day. You want to be the man of mystery you have to paint for the I am the man of mystery. Oh yeah. This is Tom. <laughs> 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 yeah, but um, I wanted Tom to paint my car. It's going a very cool color. And Tom helped me pick it out. He was like, we should go down this road and he was like, hey, do you know of an old Fiat color? And he was like, that looks quite cool. That, that's unfortunate. Isn't it? But yeah, and he said, hey, that's quite cool. So I'm just like, yeah, let's just, let's paint it and get it done. I mean, like this thing, I've, I've had it for fucking years, beat upon it. I've talked about painting it with Tom for a long time, haven't I? And it was always going to come to you. Yeah. So I'm just glad it's here. Um, no, it's been a good, it's been a good opportunity for me anyway, because like, I'm closed, um, so this has helped me pay my rent, Shane's been kind enough to give it to me, so I can just work in isolation, crack on with it, um, finding the motivation is difficult, uh, but yeah, it's, and it's a cool thing to paint, so, and Greg's done some nice touches, like there's been a bit of shaving that's been done, the boot lid's been shaved, the door apertures have been shaved. Shane's picked a good colour, so yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting, be good. I, I, and there's no, there's no like sort of deadline with this. We're just gonna do it as and when. It's my car, so. Um... And what are we doing, bro? We're doing a street car, not show car. We're just going for. It's going street. I, I already said to Tom, because I give this car a fucking hiding, I said, don't go like all out in it because it's probably gonna be in a, in a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably gonna crash it. So we're gonna like paint it in two packs, make it real tough because I'm gonna use it every day like I did before. Just because it's been painted and I'm going through it now, doesn't mean I'm gonna daily it. I actually salt my daily to pay for this to get it, to get it done because uh, I'm not loaded. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I am so tight. So I salt my daily and this is gonna be my daily throughout the summer. Like it was for the last two years. So I just wanna put it back together now and just start using it. So. Um, but when when I first um, when I first had this car, I never wanted it to be this color anyway. And you knew that anyway, didn't you, Tom? And like yeah. we were discussing loads of different colors. We were gonna go black originally because I I love black and everything does go black. Black slim. Yeah, black's the color of my soul. <laughs> Definitely. But but like I think it would be a shame to paint this thing black because it'll lose the lines. It re it really would, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's, you know, I, I think the colour's going to work, it'll, it'll give it that retro feel. Like, as far as what I'm planning to do with it is, we're doing the prep side of things now, so it just looks like a mess, but you can't really see the labour that's going into it. Um, but without the prep, the, the finish, it depends on the prep. It's going to look period correct and savage. Yeah, it's, it's a good retro colour. Yeah, sure. and it, it looks great. It'll work. But. Tom be on form. When the car comes out for Tom, it's always great. I appreciate that. It always is, that's why it's here. So, 
we'll be updating you on this as we go. I'm gonna try and do longer videos and like show you what we do day to day as opposed to just going updates and shit. So I'm gonna try and do like, I'm gonna try and vlog, see how that works out. Tom's hilarious though. We'll spend more time with Tom. I'm gonna be down like the next couple of days trying to pull the sunroof out of it. Because Tom is like, I am not dissembling this car. And I'm like, hey man, I completely agree. Yeah, I'm, I'm not paying him enough to, <laughs> to pull it apart. <laughs> I'm gonna be on camera for the ladies, Tom. I've got, I've got switches for the ladies. Oh, switches Jack. for bitches. Bitches got love switches, don't they? Oh, Jack? Sat in Show me your hair. Oh, he done that. He done that. He went there. <laughs> Do you like this car, Jack? I love it. Are you social distancing? Yes. Yeah, fuck off, Jack. <laughs> oh, oh, he's getting serious. Oh, no, no. Bro, it's got to be candid. It's got to be candid? Yeah, it's in like, you know, you're catching me in the action. I'm catching you right now. Fucking get over it, Tom. Fucking get over it, Tom. Fucking hell, he wants to be all professional and shit. He's like shooting like you do in the movie. <laughs> oh, look, you want that shot? Uh, we'll put a track over it. That's good, man. Oh, look at this. Oh, fuck. Oh, Bless my fucking bottles open up there. Oh, no. <laughs> you fucked that up. Do you approve of the color, Tom? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Great color, isn't it? Yeah. You? Big up for me. We'll slow mo it. Uh, and you got the slow mo. Uh, See, I like that thing. Uh. It's not filming, man. I'm just giving you some pointers, right? You're catching all my fucking blackheads, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't even have blackheads, you fucking idiot. <laughs> There's no blackheads on you. Just Too fucking, close. Just fucking do it. All right, all right. All right. Go on, eh? Go on, eh? Oh, wow. Uh. Wait a minute. <laughs> hold there, hold there. Uh. Oh, Tom, you look so sexy. <laughs> Tom. Yeah. That's it, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on, we're fucking out. Bye, Tom. Good. See you later. Bye, Jack. Oh, you're, you're only coming I with me, aren't you? <laughs> I want to see some of this. You will. You will see some of this. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, Tom. Man of mystery. What's the, what's the name of your business? Don't even have a fucking logo anywhere. Harlequin. Like called, you know. <laughs> what's it called again? Harlequin Paintworks. What? Harlequin Paintworks. I just got to say it three times. Ah! Catch it, bitch! <laughs> Big now, what are you doing with this video? Are you gonna, are you gonna edit it and then, like, you know, send me some? What the fuck do you think you're gonna do with it? Well, you know, you're not gonna just put it all as it is. You're gonna cut. I'm gonna show the people. See you later. <laughs> Look at you so upset. <laughs> all right, see you later, guys. Early on Thursday morning, rolling in the 21, using it as a van. Mm. I'm just gonna pick up Jack. I don't know how he's gonna get in. Been out here for ages as well. What the fuck is he? He's gonna get in. I don't think. I don't know how he's gonna get in. He'll figure it out. Oh shit, he's finishing. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. He's struggling. I, 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 I don't know how we're gonna do this. <laughs> I think if we pull that, that like, if we pull this out. Yeah. And then you can put this on your lap. Right, okay. Or, yeah, just put it on your lap. Make sure you put a seatbelt around it. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to probably put it on your lap. Just like that, yeah, just like that. Good man. Got that? Do you want to hold that while you put your belt on? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh my god, it's not safe at all. You're gonna close that door again, man. Oh fuck. You okay with that? Sweet. Is it heavy? Heavy as fuck. Is it? We're in. <laughs> Onto the shop. Can <laughs> we do that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. There we are. You meant. my most uh, comfortable commute to work. Yeah, sorry, right, mate. Teach you for crashing your car, innit? <laughs> It wasn't me, it was my brother, right? Yeah, okay, there you go. Oh, look. More wheels. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, we did get four 18 inch wheels into a 28 and drove to work. Oh, fuck. The tire's a little bit flat. Remember I said to you that it didn't feel right? I said that the other day, yeah. Ah. Maybe this might be the problem, like. The extra couple of mil of tire being flat. Shit. I'm gonna fix a fucking tire in the 21, god damn it! Have you ever so, lockdown continues. Whilst lockdown is continuing, we are fixing the stuff that's already in the shop. So, as you saw in the video before, we had these lovely rotors. The 9Ks, the rotors. Mmm, they're great, right? But, when I tested them last time, not only were the coil overseized, um, tires are too big, I didn't like the fitment. So, had a set of 22540s here. They were on 24540s, 45s. Just looked too chunky and I didn't really like it. So, chucked them on. Now we're gonna try and test them on the car today and see what they look like, see where she sits. Try and get this thing sitting right. And then, then we got to address the problem of the engine bay, which looks fucking terrible. I mean, like, we have welded the strut tops because they were fucking, they're really bad. And the engine should be back from Charlie Huxtable's this week. Honed, decked, ready to go back together, head skimmed a lot. Um, crank had to be reground. This car has been an absolute nightmare. But, shouldn't be too long, we'll have it back together. <sighs> Let it test it. Yeah, well, now then. <clears throat> now then. Put the rear one on. Already, we're on the money. Already. Check that out. Ooh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bit of spacing needed now. Got to figure out what we need for spacing. I know the front's already have to, I think the front's gonna have to need like 25 mil. Rear, mm, I don't know. Depends on how much camber I wanna run. But that already looks a million times better. So we're gonna chuck the fronts on, chuck them all on around, drop it on the ground, see what she looks like. Give it a go. The thing I may, I fucking hate most about stands and cars is this part right here. It's fucking grueling. Got this to spend the coil of this free. They're HSDs. But because they were sat for so long, as you know, these things seize up. Uh, dropped the tire side because I wasn't happy with it. Um, now, it looks the way I want, but now as I see it at the right height. So, and these S14s are weird, man. Unless you run like camber on the back, which I don't. Um, these don't sit in right. So, it looks like I'm gonna have to space the rear out 10 mil and the front 25. And that's where I want it to be. That's nice and tucked out, that, isn't that's it? That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, that's really nice. So the back's gonna come in. Back's gonna be 10 mil, isn't it? But, that looks bang. Front, yeah. 25. Not so much. Huh? Front's not so much. Not so much, no. When it goes up into it, I think it's gonna need 25. So, we have to figure out studs for the back and spacers, 10 mil spacers, and for the front, we're just gonna have to get 25 mil adapter ones. But, that's the vision. Clear as the arch. I reckon 25 mil in the back would do this. 
and then we lock the camber in. Hmm. We're gonna have to do this on the ground, don't we? Looks like it, yeah. Fuck my life. <laughs> Yesterday I bought myself a new toy and this week we're rolling again. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> to pick it up. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You probably would have seen a pick up on social media. But this is our little road trip. Now, obviously we're social distancing. I work with Harris, so don't get your knickers in a twist. Um, and we are on a road trip on the way up. Now I'm sorry if the footage on this camera is not being great. I've had a new camera to start all these vlogs and that's why it's a bit bumpy and looks a bit crazy but I bet you can hear me better right and that's the whole point of this camera so today I pick up something really really fucking cool um, I've wanted one of these for a very long time uh, my father used to own a convertible one I wanted one of these for ages it's kind of yin and yang to my E28 but let's find out what it is do you like it ours? yeah it's cool Conversation this morning, and he doesn't like water. I, I'm driving, huh? I'm driving, You're holding the fucking camera. <laughs> but, yes, what did you think of uh, uh, how's life been with the Mark One this week? Yeah, good, no pop for bang, so so I've been getting like <laughs> <laughs> it does pop a bang, he just doesn't hit the limiter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did, <laughs> I did on the test drive, but his car does go pop a bang, really, really. Gonna have to do a video shoot of that soon. We'll do a yeah. video of that soon. That thing's a fucking it's an animal. Um, but yeah, so let's have a look at what I bought. Fuck you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, you're shit courser with your one wheel spins and pop a bang maps. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> Red eyes in the mirror, dead trying to figure, but instead I see a figure so unfair that he bled liquid lead. Shots aiming for the hair. Lights, you will rather find Check this out. How are we doing, dude? I'm good, how are you? We are going to social distance. <laughs> yeah. But this looks amazing. Yeah, it's going to be sad to see you go. Thank um... And do you know, right? I only dropped you a message yesterday by chance. And I said, like, I fucking hope he still has it. Yeah. Because yeah. I knew that the lockdown was getting like eased now, wasn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so I hope he still has it. And thank, thank yeah. fuck you do. No, there's, there's a few people that were waiting and, and unfortunately, I think you were one of the first people to reach out, fortunately for you. Yeah. Yeah. I saw, I saw, I saw the news from Boris, I was like, I'm going to drop a message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Savage. Right. Can we pull it out? Yeah. yeah. Oh, amazing. What do you think? Nice. nice. <laughs> very diesel, very diesel. Yeah. But this is a W108. It's already on air. Um, it's got an OM606 in it and a six speed manual. You've got no idea how long I've wanted one of these for. How long have you had it? Uh, not long enough. No? Uh, bought it last year to do as this year's project. And, um, yeah. Yeah, it's a bit of a bitch. Yeah, it is. I love it though. It's going the to a good The coolest thing that I found on it was um, trying to fill up with fuel the first time. Yeah. And I didn't have any idea where the fuel filler it's was. It's in the middle behind the number yeah. 8. Yeah, so I know I go with a 114 and uh, the fuel filler is there. I don't know where it's yeah. Yeah. yeah, and it's... Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Let's see how it's going. Let's see how it's going. Sick. This thing looks so cool though. And when well, you've got it driving properly, you have to be on your knees when you fill it up as well. So that's about the same height. So you look at your weird <laughs> petrol station when you're standing behind your car. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I love it. Right, let's, let's get the air up and let's take it for a spin. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is fucking sick. And also she's on air, so paddle system. Yeah, so we're going to put some air in the tyre. It hasn't moved for a bit. How long has it been sat for? Uh, since lockdown started, so since it's lockdown been, started. what's that now? Six weeks? 
at least yeah. Yeah, two week, two months sort of thing. Yeah. Chuck some air. It's sacrilege to leave it, leave it standing that long. I'm going to use it every day. Yeah, as you should. Is it, this is... who owned it before me, he used it every day. He built it today. Yeah, I'm going to use this thing every single day. So you'll see this outside the shop, outside my house, rolling around Swansea. I'll use it every day. But how cool is it? <laughs> and that's aired up. So, I'm going to put this down a sec. I'm going to go for a test drive. And then we'll be back.